Hi, today we're going to be working again on a Christmas cookie. We're going to try mitten cookies today. So let's get started. So today you're going to need a cookie and a toothpick. You're going to draw out the outline of the shape that you would like. So you can use this for any shape whatsoever. And your, your um, toothpick is just going to give you a little um, indent to follow. So nothing too deep just to give you a guide. You can also freehand this if you would like. With your icing, you are then going to come and outline your cookie. Outline the shape that you would like. My mitten today is going to be a two-toned mitten, so I'm going to outline parts and leave parts empty so that I can come in with my second color. So you're going to outline and fill in and then skip um, a space and then again come and outline and fill in. So be um, as detail oriented as you can in this step um, because of the mitten you have your thumb you want to make sure that you're going to get some of each color on that thumb but you're still going to have the space uh, between your thumb and your hand so make sure to not be too close um, to your thumb to have just one full line you kind of lose the finger at that point so again slowly come in outline and fill in. You can touch up if ever you feel that oh, you'd like it to be a little thicker, a little thinner of a line. We are then going to come in with our toothpick and just push the icing around to make sure that it fills up completely to the edges of our design. And I'm going to go through my icing to make sure I don't have any air pockets anywhere. So again, at this point, you can be as detail-oriented as you like. You want to work quickly. You do not want to work too, um, too slowly as the icing will start to heal. Just pushing it around, making sure that it's exactly to the line where you would like it. Again, going through icing, making sure there's no air pockets, that you're all the way to the tip of the corner you want to fill, that your lines are as straight as possible. As this is a striped mitten, if your lines aren't straight, it'll kind of ruin the effect. So just shaping and pushing your icing around, making sure there's no air pockets. Once you've completed this, you're going to let it dry uh, for a couple of hours. Once your icing has dried to the touch, you are then going to be able to come in and fill in with your other color. If your icing is not dry and you come and fill in with the other color right away, they will bleed into each other and you will not get a nice um, you know, effect of individually um, separated rows of color. It'll all bleed into one uniform mitten. So if you really want to get the effect of the two-toned, then you're going to come in and fill in once one has dried. We are also going to be using sanding sugar today to give a nice effect of a fuzzy mitten or a sparkly mitten. So if you're going to use a sanding sugar, again, you want to make sure that half of your design is dry or the sanding sugar will stick everywhere and you'll lose that effect. So slowly come and outline and fill in. Get the lines as straight as you possibly can get them to make sure that everything is filled in correctly. When I'm filling in my second color, I like to use a tip that's a little bit thinner. I have a little bit more control on getting my lines as straight as possible. Um, if you use a thicker um, tip, sometimes you won't have that control or that preciseness as much as you would like. So the smaller your tip, the more precise you can be with your line. Outline and then fill in. Okay, 
and you can touch them up until you're happy with them and you feel that they have come to the tip of the icing of the other color. And then you're going to come and fill in your thumb. Making sure again, outline, keeping the distance between the mitten and the thumb. Making sure your lines are nice and straight, that you like the effect that you're getting. You can come and fix this up as much as you like. you feel that your line isn't exactly where you would like it with a toothpick or your finger you can come and remove excess icing and then begin again and come and give it exactly the shape that you would like outline and then fill in Again, taking the time that you need to make sure that your icing is exactly the shape you like and exactly the distance that you would like it for everything to be perfect so that you're happy with your final result. While the icing is still wet, again with the toothpick, you're going to come push around to make sure to close off any seams that there might be and swirl around to make sure that you take all the air pockets out of your icing. So when you swirl around, small circular motions and your toothpick is a nice fine point as well to pull the icing around a little bit in case you're not happy with the exact positioning. Swirl around, make sure there's no air pockets, fill everything to the edges. Again, same thing. Make sure everything is filled out to the edge. While your icing is still wet with your sanding sugar in a color that is matching what you've chosen, you just come and sprinkle on top of your whole cookie. And then you just flip it over and tap off the excess and it'll only stick to the icing that is wet. All your dry icing will not have any on it. You can come clean off the cookie and any edge if you would like with your paintbrush to make sure you don't have any excess. You want to wipe it off as soon as possible as it will stick to the grease that might be on the surface of your cookie and it'll stick to any edge that there might be that might be a little bit damp. So you want to really come and make sure that you take all the excess off. In between your thumb is a nice place for all the sugar to stay stuck and you lose a little bit of the shimmery effect. You can do this as well on a parchment paper and then put the excess sugar directly back into your container if you would like and reuse it so you don't waste any. And there you go, there's our mitten cookie. Hope you liked it. Let me know in the comments if there's any other um, models that you would like to see. Have a great day.